A jury found former Empire actor Justice Millett guilty Thursday on five counts of felony disorderly conduct for making false reports to police that he was the victim of a hate crime in 2019. Now, Jesse faces prison time with this verdict, but his defense team says it plans to appeal. This case has been three years in the making, but it's not over yet. Here's what we know. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. After two days deliberating, the jury returned with a guilty verdict on five out of the six felony disorderly conduct charges after hearing Jesse and his accomplices testify on the stand. Now, Jesse maintained his innocence on the stand, saying he really was attacked by two unknown men in 2019 who poured bleach on him, wrapped a noose around his neck, all while yelling racist and homophobic slurs. However, the Osindaro brothers also testified, saying Jesse paid them to stage a fake hate crime attack so he could garner sympathetic media coverage. Now, if you'll remember back in the day, it worked. Obviously, everyone was horrified that the actor, who's both a black man and a gay man, was attacked so brutally, and police were immediately investigating. Things were fishy from the start, though, and police determined the actor orchestrated the whole thing, with a grand jury indicting him in February 2020. Now, what's next for Jesse now that he's been convicted of five Class 4 felonies? Each one is punishable by up to three years in prison and a $25,000 fine. The judge will have discretion on whether to impose a concurrent or consecutive sentence at a later date. Now, Jesse's also still facing a lawsuit from the city of Chicago, which said it still plans to collect the $130,000 it said it's owed for the police investigation of the actor's report of a hate crime. In the lawsuit, the city said more than two dozen police officers and detectives dedicated weeks working on Jesse's case, resulting in more than 1,800 overtime hours. Someone's got to pay that, I guess. Jesse filed countersuit in November 2020, but there's been no real updates on that as he was standing trial. Meanwhile, Jesse's attorney said he disagrees with the jury's verdict and plans to win the case on appeal. Jesse is 100% confident that the ruling will be reversed, he said in a statement, and justice will prevail. I really do hope justice does prevail, whatever that means, if the verdict is overturned or if it remains. Let me know what you think in the comments and hit subscribe while you're there, then head over to popculture.com for more on the verdict. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.